Hello everyone. Wait on the welder coming at you today, Mr. Omer back on it. Today I'm going to show you how to hook up a Hypertherm Power Max 45 to a engine drive welding machine. This is pretty standard for uh, mobile welders, fitters, repairmen. You might have one of these. Um, it pretty much all for for um, hyper, excuse me, all for plasma cutters. How to hook them up. All right, so this is what we're working with today. This is the Hyper Power Max 45 MP. Notice it is a three wire, three pin plug. And that's gonna be the, the difference in whether we can hook it up or not. This is a 240 volt machine. And they only come with a three pin, three, three prong plug. Some of your older units may have four pin. Uh, your newer 480 volts will be a four pin or a hard line, four wire, and all your three phase are 480 um, four wire. All right, this is what we're gonna hook it up for our engine drive today. This is the Lincoln Electric Ranger 250 GXT normal controls. The reason I got this machine here instead of the Ranger 8 is because of this 240 plug and the wattage down there. It's a peak watt of 11,000. Continuous watts 10,000 240 volts a hypertherm power max 45 needs about 10,000 Continuous watts to operate It's a little bit more when it starts up just like any electric motor It's going to pull a little bit more when you first start it up. So that's why they have that 11,000 peak I th think I read that it it runs those 11,000 peak watts for about 30 seconds and then it cuts back to to 10,000 the problem we see here is that is a four pin plug. One, two, three, four. Your regular three prong pin plug from Hypertherm that comes on the machine will not fit in there. Okay, looks like this. That's it, that's the one off of our machine. And as you can see, it will not go in there. I'll show you. Look at the difference. Can you see the difference? If I put it in this hole, it's not gonna go in there and get in over there. It's not gonna do it. I promise you it's not gonna do it. You can't bend these prongs out to make them fit. The difference is, is because the plug here is a three wire plug and the plug on the machine is made for a four plug wire pin. So what you're gonna have to do and what I had to do and what every everybody does is homemade make a three pin plug from a four pin plug. So you can see it's supposed to have this middle one in here. Okay, you can do that. You just pop it open, put your wires in there. Okay, so this has to insert in here like so. And as you can see, it will slide in. Okay, all right. And now on the other end, you're gonna need your three wire, your three pin connector. Set up just like the plug for your, your plasma cutter. One, two, three. Three pins in there, all right? Okay, so the female end on our extension cord coming from the 250 Ranger is gonna be a three pin female receptacle. Okay, this would be something that you're gonna to have to find at Ace Hardware, um, your local little electrician supply. It's, this is what you see in the dryer for your house, okay? This plug, this three prong pin plug, it is three pins. It's gonna to have to use this, okay? And then you'd flip it over and it would plug, plug in like so. Okay. And then you would have plasma capabilities on your mobile unit. All right, so we have it plugged up to the Ranger mobile power unit. As soon as I flip this switch here to power, you'll see the light come on, you'll see the power come up, but you'll also hear the engine drive machine jump to a high idle. And it'll stay like that and turn, I'll turn it back off for about 30 seconds. Here we go. If 
5 amps going to the machine. Everything's right. Somebody's flashing light up there. That means we don't have enough compressed air to the machine. When I'm running the plasma cutter off of my mobile unit, I always turn that selector to high idle. I don't let it jump up and jump down between cuts. I think that just runs the circuit dry. It's gonna burn up a circuit board too often. I'm just not up for that. So what you learned today is how to plug up a Hyper, Hypertherm PowerMax 45 to a Lincoln Electric 250 GXT. And notice that the plugs were different. On the machine, it's a four plug. On the plasma cutter, it's a three pin plug. They will not go together. You're gonna to have to make an extension cord with different ends on it. I would end up do liking the extension cord because I can set the machine at the back of the truck here or on the piece of equipment. It's about a 10 foot cord and then about another 10 foot on the machine. So I can actually get it off and get it under the shed if it's raining or whatever. So look out uh, for that. Stay tuned for more. Um, get on your D2L and check out the uh, quiz.